In this lesson, I'll show you how to use the dot product to determine if two vectors are orthogonal or parallel. Now, we have done a video in the past about orthogonal vectors, but this example goes in a little more detail. Orthogonal vectors are two non-zero vectors, let's say V and W, whose angles between them is 90 degrees. To test for this, the dot product of the two vectors should equal to zero. In addition, if the angle between the two vectors is either 0 degrees or 180 degrees, the right side of the equation shown here equals 1 or negative 1, suggesting that the vectors are parallel. Beginning with question number 1, we're asked to determine the value b so that the vectors u and v, given these components, are orthogonal. Notice that these two vectors are written in terms of i and j. Let me rewrite them so that they're in a simplified form as 1 and b. In addition, v has the components 3 and 10. To find the dot product of these two, what I will do is multiply the x components together, so 1 times 3, that's 3, and b times 10 is positive 10b. Now, if I want to make these two vectors orthogonal, I need to make sure that the dot product equals zero. And from here, what I can do is solve for b, which will ensure that the left side and the right side are zero. So let me go ahead and solve for b. I'll bring this three over. I have negative three is equal to b times 10, and then divide both sides by 10, by dividing both sides by 10, I end up with a b value of negative 3 over 10. Therefore, only when the vector is 1i minus 3 over 10j will the dot product be 0 and therefore these two vectors orthogonal. Let's move on to question 2. Determine if the vector u, given these components, and v, given these two components, are orthogonal, parallel, or neither. Let's test to see if they are orthogonal. I'll take the dot product of both. So the dot product of u times v. We have the x components as negative half times 2 plus the y components of negative 1 times 4. Let's simplify. Half times 2 is negative 1. These two multiplied is negative 4, and that is equal to negative 5. Given that the dot product is not equal to 0, these are not parallel. Let's use this formula now to help us see whether the right side will equal to 1 or negative 1. Okay, we found the dot product already. The dot product happened to be negative 5. So that's this part. We have negative 5 at the top. At the bottom, we multiply the magnitudes of v and w. To find the magnitude of this vector, we will use the Pythagorean theorem, where I take the square root of negative 0 0.5, which is that negative half, squared plus negative 1 squared. Let's use our calculator. The square root of negative 0 0.5 squared plus negative 1 raised to the power of 2. That is equal to approximately 1.118, where the exact value is the square root of 5 over 2. Now, I'll do the same thing for this vector. The square root of 2 squared plus 4 squared. 4 plus 16 is the square root of 20. Now, let's go ahead and evaluate that. Negative 5 divided by the product of these two. So I had the square root of 5 over 2 times the square root of 20 we actually end up with negative 1 on the left side. So negative 1 is equal to cosine theta. And if I were to use my calculator and use the inverse cosine function for the ratio negative 1, I end up with 180 degrees. Given that we get 180 degrees or negative 1 on the left side, this suggests that these two vectors are in fact parallel. And there you have it. That is how to use the dot product to determine if two vectors are orthogonal or parallel.